don't worry, honey, I'm not recording you. <clears throat> okay, we are going to our buddy Mitch's place. We're going to take a little tour of his collection. I don't know, maybe uh, see if there's any parts he has that I need. Maybe shake a pinball machine loose. Oh, we've got the wrong vehicle. <laughs> what if I want to buy a machine when I'm there? Uh -oh. We'll have to just come back. But it doesn't mean I can't do some wheeling and dealing. Me and Mitch do lots of wheeling and dealing. So who knows what will happen when we're there. Anything can happen. But for the most part, we'll check out the action. He usually has around 50 to 60 pinball machines. He's always uh, moving and shaking and uh, has something on the go. I know he's working on a Captain Fantastic, so maybe we'll take a peek at that. Let's check out his progress. And he's got a few cool machines. He's got uh, my Congo sitting there for the last few years, so just holding it for me for when, uh, when it comes to my place, right, Mitch? And uh, yeah, his, uh, one of his prized possessions is his uh, Big Lebowski, right? We played that last time we were there. Maybe we'll have a quick game. And uh, just, yeah, take a, take a tour and see, uh, see what's new. There's always, uh, there's always some new fun stuff over there. He says it's a mess, but that's okay. I like uh, exploring pinball. It doesn't matter if it's organized or piled into one big lump. So we'll uh, see you guys when we get there. Hey, no music allowed. We're gonna get in trouble, but this is the path we're taking to Mitch's. Um, there are dirt roads involved. They don't have to be, but we're taking a little uh, scenic tour. And what do you know, there's actually someone driving uh, the opposite direction. I thought we were gonna be the only ones on this road. What's up in, over this hill? Have you ever taken this road before? Yeah. Okay, well, lots of uh, forest on the one side and farm on the other. Okay, the road to Mitch's can be very treacherous. Look at this. Look at this. If you can see up there, there's a whole bunch of wild turkeys crossing the road. Look at that. Wild turkeys. Let's go see if we can see where they went. But yeah, we're on a dirt road, obviously. And, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know where they went. Can you see? Yeah, I see one. Right through there. Oh, they're so cute. Cute wild turkeys. All right, honey, we've arrived. Yeah. Let's go check out Mitch's collection. Yeah. Try not to record his address so we don't have randos just showing up wanting to play pinball. And also have to try not to get wifey on camera because she don't like it. Ding dong. Wanna go check out the basement? Yeah, let's do it. Let's head on. All right. This is where all the magic happens. Oh, yes. Mitch has the Escalera, which is amazing. He can get down like wide body machines by himself, which is such a luxury that I do not have. <laughs> cool. All right, here it is. Let's start. We'll go left to right. And, uh, I'll just pan through. So watch your step. Don't Holy shit. Yep, yeah, watch your step. Is this uh, the Captain Fantastic? Yeah, it's almost done. Are you, you just kind of like sitting on the floor and working on this? Yeah, so yeah. I would prefer that. Yep, yeah, well. <laughs> that works. That works. I just got to watch my step. But look at this. I've been watching some of your, uh, your posts. You've been really going through this machine. Huh? That's what customers want. Yep. Yeah. He did a massive flipper rebuild. Look at that, nice and shiny. And a stroke switches. And... Yeah, man, so you already have a customer for this? Or... Yep. Yep, cool. Most of my games sell before I finish them. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like it that way? or? I it. Yeah. But they... I don't like selling them until I started working on them. I totally forgot you had a hot dog in. 
But yeah, me and Ray were playing hot dog on, on Friday. Like I, you know, I got a decent collection of machines. We played hot dog and for friggin' like three hours straight, we didn't play anything else. It's a fun game. Totally fun. And then you got uh, Hot Doggins uh, brother, Future Spa, another Beautiful super wide. sister. Sister, yeah, it's Hot more of a Doggin sister. Hot Doggins is an ugly machine. Uh, and Future Spa is a gorgeous machine. Yeah, you know, this is true. Out of these the, three wide bodies, Hot Doggin has the worst artwork. <laughs> Yeah, right. Oh, and there's Paragon right there. Yeah, so there's the three pack there. So you've and you've had Space Invaders. Have yeah. you had Embryon? Kind of. Kind of had an Embryon? Yeah, and I, have I not. passed on it for really cheap because I didn't want it. Oh, really? Eh? Yeah, back in day Ken had it. I could have got it for a thousand bucks. Oh, yeah. And then Teolus sure. bought it, I think. Yes, I remember Teolus had an he Embryon. Sold it also. All right. So you got some uh, play fields here. Well, the playfields are everywhere in this place. <laughs> yeah. You want to see a weird Alright, cool. Let's see. What do you got? This is from a redemption game that I parted out because the boards are worth more. Oh, interesting. Is this Tickle Tac Toe? Tick Tac Toe. Oh. Ticket Tac Toe. That's it. Ticket Tac Toe. Is this a Gottlieb System 3? No, this what is, is a it? Williams. Oh, is it really? Uh, WPC 95. No shit, eh? That's why I got parted out, because the WPC 95 board sets are worth good money. Yeah. And, but that's looks, the weirdest thing ever. But Look at full, that. But full actual Williams setup with Williams flippers. No shit. And the cool thing about it for parts, even for this one, is I will never... Oh, let me flip this up for you. Yeah. I will never need to buy an Opto for this style again. Oh, is it the U-shape Optos? Because... These are all opto boards in here. Oh, Actually, yeah. I might need to buy some. Those are multi boards. I thought they were singles. Oh, I Not see. Right. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> Transmitter and receiver yeah. LEDs. Yep. But cool. Lots of cool. That's worth some good parts there. And There's like an opto board there too, right? Opto board there. Full flipper assemblies. Yeah. And they're probably in good shape overall because they probably didn't get played like a you know WPC uh, game oh, yeah, would have. Oh yeah. These were arcades and they gave tickets, so kids went there and just uh, okay. flap, flap, flap around oh, on them. They actually got more abused than normal. Probably, yes. So these are well, even FL... look at the playbook. Did you see the wear mark? That wasn't the really... ball kicks up from the center in this game. Oh yeah. Yeah. That thing's been played. Yeah, it's had a few games on it. Yeah, That's pretty neat. Here. What is that? This is an interesting game. Oh. That's a Stern Disco. Stern Disco. So one of the Stern EMs. Yeah. yeah. They didn't make a lot of EMs, right? Nope. Well, they're Chicago coin when they made the EMs. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, and he used Wart. Attack from Mars. And, uh, what else? We got? That's a Faces playfield. Oh, yeah. A Sonic. Which I got this because I have a Faces in the back that needs to call parts that this has. Yeah. I remember seeing this at uh, Pinburg, right? Didn't they have it there? I think they did, yeah. Yep. I need flipper coils, and that's why I bought the whole popular playfield. <laughs> That's the way to do it. I paid less for a playfield than I went for flipper quads. Yeah. It's awesome. Huh. Well, if you ever sell your I, alley... I have a sorcerer. You have to put it in the alley there. In the oh, like a boxing club or something? Yeah. <laughs> for alley, for if he sells alley. I always found your Nugent back glass kind of cool, even though most of the paint is missing. That's why I kept it. That's awesome. But yeah, so Sorcerer... I, I kind of want a triple thicket so it doesn't get worse, but I triple right? thicket, you're going to lose all the clarity and it'll look even... It'll look uh, weird, Oh, that's so. true. Yeah. Might as well just keep it as is. Lose a f one flake at a time. Yep. All right. So all kinds of cool play fields. Uh, you can tell the game's working. There's nothing on them. They are actually playable. There's not a lot of them, but there are some. Oh, what? The games in your collection? Yeah. There's nothing on the glass. It is actually a functioning game. <laughs> So Barracora, I forgot you even had that. I have a new back glass for it, although mine only has a small chip in the top missing. Oh yeah, I see. And I have a repo playfield for it too. Huh. And I have a plastic set for it, and new lane guides for it, and pretty much everything you need to make a nice one. Nice. And then laser Q. You know, I, I have a oh Dungeons and Dragons topper. Yep. I have a second populated playfield for this. <laughs> That's in better shape. Centaur 2. I actually had one of these. That I'm hoping to convert to a Centaur 1 because some guy sold me a Xenon cabinet at one point. <laughs> oh, yeah? And I still have it sitting here. <laughs> you probably haven't touched it since oh, uh, no. I sold it to you like a long time ago. Here, this is the wide body that Star Trek Next Gen that he brought down by himself. Over 300 and pounds. showed me a video of it too. Oh, this is a cool, uh, oh, Weebly, um... Just a board. solenoid driver. Nice, cool. I didn't, I've never seen a Weebly 
solenoid. This driven. is the stool you got me before. Look different now. Oh, cool! Look at that. You uh. Big Lebowski. You Lebowskified it. Nice. I man. like this one better though. Oh yeah, what do we got here? Ooh, Quicksilver. Cool. That's awesome. Those are cool. I love that. All right, so moving along, there's the Captain Fantastic uh, body. And then you got your stern Dracula over there. You can see when you go Doodle close, plug. it's not as good as I want it to be, but... Right. Yeah, you hammered out this door. To I, I hammered too much on the sides. I'm still learning on this. <laughs> but yeah. before, it was bowed out so badly. So it's better than it was. Yeah. Much better than it was. Like, people like to stick screwdrivers in there thinking they're going to get some quarters out of there, right? Yeah, where you can just stick it right here and pop the door <laughs> <open>. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or they take the t effort to smash through the bottom of the play field. But you really could just want to go pop the door. Yeah. The kids, they weren't all that bright back, in, like the, back in the day. Yeah, I wish they were better quality. They're very uncomfortable and they're very rocky. Oh, I Is this the... There's so much Coke reproduction stuff out there. There's a lot of cheap Chinese garbage. And I didn't know when I bought them, but I got them for like five bucks each. So. Oh, can't go wrong then, really. Is this the, the pride and joy of the collection, would you say then? For I sure? would say it's the most expensive game in the collection. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. I mean, I don't... How many of these do you think are around? Couple hundred, couple hundred, yeah. Probably three or four hundred, I guess, but I don't really know. Yeah, they're still making them. They're trying to, from what I understand. This is part of the new batch. This is handmade by the original guy. Oh wow! Yeah. I bought new in box. Now we come to the stern row. Ali, big game. Sea witch, Quicksilver. Would you say this is the rarest one in our collection? You think Quicksilver? Um, I don't know if Stargazer or Quicksilver. Or Stargazer, is. right? Yeah. Actually, even Split Second might be rarer, but it's not as good of a game. Right. I would say these are the rarest, and also my two favorite Classic Sterns. Yeah. And I used to have Classic Sterns all the way down to the far wall, but <laughs> as you can see, I've sold off all the early ones. Right, like, because you had Flight 2000, and... Yeah, well, that was a later one. But down there, I had, like, Nugent, I had Stars, I had oh, yeah. Galaxy... So any S, yeah. any Stern 100 boards, they're almost gone. But the 200 boards, I'm really liking. Yeah. Although this one here is going out this weekend, maybe. No. Did you sell it to Brad Hopkins? Shout yeah, out. Maybe. He was talking to me about like, uh, you know, possibly buying something. But once again, I'm too picky. So when someone comes to look at this, I have a ton of work still to do to it. I've already rebuilt the flipper and oh, shopped really? it. And this is about three years ago. It works great. Yeah. But this I don't like, and I forgot about it until I got here. That's not right for me. Oh my I mean, God. you got your bridge rectifier here, yeah. which works, and it has no issues. Uh -huh. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a new solenoid driver board in because I can't live with this. That's and crazy. then all these wires here, I'm going to cut back and shorten because there's a lot of extra give on this cable. Yeah. So I'm going to cut them all back to where they're hacked up, shorten them, and put new headers on all of them and repin it all. I don't have to, I couldn't sell it the way it is, but I want it to be right before it leaves, so, so that's like, to be done. Why does it look so different than normal? Is that just, is it missing a bracket or is Yeah, the bracket's actually on the ground under a stargazer. Uh, okay, that'll explain it. So, is this technically sold officially to Brad, or <laughs> if no, I shoot you an extra 20 bucks? There's no deposit or anything <laughs> put down, but he has first uh, call on it. Yeah, just getting Oh, yeah, part. there it is. I thought uh, something looked a little extra suspicious down there. But, yeah, that's been hacked. But, yeah, Brad, if you do buy this, I'm looking at it live now, and it is definitely uh, the prettiest, uh, you know, oh. sitting next to split second. I mean, there's uh, a little bit of play field wear. You're going to have it because of the age. And I do have an NOS back glass over there wrapped up that he knows about. Oh, wow. That's pretty impressive. And split second. Have you... Got a chance to play this yet, or...? Uh, this is probably my longest own stern. Oh. I have never powered it on since I bought uh, it. Let's what, turn it on right now. When I bought happens. it, it did boot up and play, but oh. barely. And oh. I had to chop all the rectifier board wires because they're all hard, hard soldered. I couldn't take it uh, apart. Yes. That's pretty cool. Like an upper play field with two flippers on it. Yeah, but it's for sale also. I got rid of a bunch of games and this one can't stay. Yeah, well... But I'll get running and fixed up first. Yeah. Oh, unless, okay. Unless someone wants to yeah, offer a yeah. stupid price for it as is, but I don't sell many as is anymore. Yeah, I know. Yeah. There's That's very few sure. Unless maybe if they're Gottliebs, then you might be a little more uh, prone to do that. <laughs> well, look Not one the, Gottlieb solid state in this yeah, house. Yeah, you won't find a Gottlieb. Uh, yeah, I'm sure, but not solid state. <laughs> right. Catacomb. This, one, a, this one's cool actually game. working and playing right now. Is that... I just got to fix uh, the one piece on the back glass. That's why the back glass is off. Okay. Yeah, I had this game. I got it from uh, yeah, you had Bruce a nice Nightingale. One. 
uh, from, you know, Slam Tilt, and, uh, and, uh, yep, I had it for a while, had my fun with it, and then, what did I do with it? Well, you know where this one came from. Hey, that came from me. Well, I don't know who did the trim on the back, because the cut job is terrible, Dimus. Uh, not I. I never did any T-molding, but... Yeah. They replaced half of it and didn't replace the oh, other yeah. half. Yeah, look at that. That is that was uh and there was something funky going on with this front panel too, I remember. The plastic cover. Somebody put with it on the screws plastic. on it. Interesting. Hey, it works great still, yeah. but I do have a second one I'm fixing for a customer right now also. Oh, yeah. oh. Other half is in the garage. You should swap heads. <laughs> uh, well I actually bought enough team holding it's hanging upstairs to do both games. Oh very nice. Every piece. This is uh is this Scorpion? It would be. Cool. And this is Torpedo Alley. There it is. And then Evil Knievel. Okay, so moving on to the fast break. You have... Uh... This is one of CPR's <laughs> first prints ever. This is back oh. from 2008. It is one of their test runs. That's why it doesn't have any inserts or anything like that. Come on, focus. Sometimes this thing doesn't like to focus. There it goes. Black Knight 2008 Classic CPR. Classic Playfield Reproductions. Very cool. Wow, look at that. I also have the test print center at the other end of the room also huh. from the early days. So ultimately the plan is to get both, uh, you have two fast breaks. I do. And get them linked up. I heard that's lots of fun. One is a total basket case. Yeah, I remember seeing photos. <laughs> I didn't know there you had a demo man topper. Oh man, this is, this is the oldest game in my collection. Yep. This is eight or Good nine choice. years, this one. Good choice, man. Uh, I was just at my buddy Brian's who got my old demo man and I... Was looking at it, thinking I want to buy it back. Oh, this is nice. This one has chrome lock bar, chrome side Ooh. rails, rechromed handles, plastic protectors, no broken plastics, mint play field, color DMD, oh, yeah. topper. That's pretty. New coin door. Wow. Yeah, this has been around for a while cool. here. Is that color changing too? Yeah. Uh, normally I have it locked on blue, but I had it unplugged a little while ago, and that's reverted back to that. Right. <laughs> Ooh, so shiny. I love the chrome action. Yeah, well, nice. once I did the handles, the lock bar and side rails just didn't look right. Yeah, right. <laughs> and Judge Dredd, yeah, I miss my old Judge Dredd. Doug Langs has that. Shout out to Doug Langs. Yeah, I miss a lot of my WPCs. <laughs> yeah. My last four purchases are all DMD games. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, uh, here's my Congo just sitting here waiting for me to pick it up. You wish. And I, I don't remember this topper either. Is oh, that new? it's a handmade one. There's not many out there. Really? Oh, yeah. How long have you had the topper? I don't know. Long time. Shame. Second longest game in my collection. A yep. couple months behind Demolition Man. Mm. See why it's uh, hard to pry these legs off of this floor. And yes, I know the factory settings. <laughs> I'm in the middle of putting Envy Ram in. Yep. I didn't know it had batteries. And then I'm like, oh, it does have batteries. So oh. I popped them out. And it has colors oh, in yeah. too. Adventure yep. awaits. Ah. Well, this obviously needs a lot to work. So I'll take it as is for a wholesale price. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know I have one game that you want, at least. Oh, cool. I was going to wait for the border open. I got my own. Oh, really? Yeah. I got an Adam's family oh, sitting in gosh. New York waiting for me. Oh, no oh. shit, eh? Oh, okay. Here. Film me uh, playing one ball of Congo. I never get to play this game. Don't get Jamie in the shot, though. Nope. <laughs> Just the play field in the DMD. Ooh. Oh! These flippers are nice and snappy. Oh, I like that shot. Oh, look the volcano lighting up. Oh, right. I didn't do the super still shot. I forgot about that. Oh, that's mm. This one's so nice, man. Yeah, when I bought this one, um, eight years ago or so, yeah. I paid $2,800 for it, yeah. and people laughed at me, saying I paid too much. Yeah. Which at the time, it was on the higher end, yeah. but it has now become my favorite DMD game. Is it? Yep. Yeah. It will be the last game to go. I'll get one one day. Probably won't be this nice, but that's okay. 
I'll be happy with any console. Well, I actually had a Skywalker playfield done for this. Oh yeah, I need but, a Skywalker. But I had a friend who really needed it for his, so I gave it to sold it to him. Oh no way. Oh, you got mystery, mystery lit. Is that gonna be my multi ball? It could be a diamond multi ball. Diamond multi ball. Okay. Cool. I kept it like that. Yeah, right on. Get a little bit of everything. Nice. That's awesome. Love All right. Oh, yeah, fishtails. Let's go. This one I just picked up. It's yeah, mostly working. Okay, cool. It yeah. needs a new head though. It's you can see it's splitting really bad, and oh, then the back it? is water damaged really badly. Oh, okay. But I have a new head. That's what that doctor who is over there on the uh, ground. I saw that over there. Very cool. Sopranos. I know you like love this game too, right? Well, this is what I just rebuilt. This. This is what happens. You're safe when the ball hits it too much. Right. You can see that it's actually mushroomed all the way over the side. Oh, yeah. Taking a beating. All right. So you. Rebuilt the whole... It's all been rebuilt, new pieces, Did new that. halves. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah that's a cool mech. And it's got the release in the back. I've never seen that one out of the machine before. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. And then uh, Skate Ball, good game. Yeah, I've had that oh. a long time, I haven't played it. Ooh. Strange world. Everybody loves the strange world. I got two of them. Uh, <laughs> yep. One play field's been stripped oh, down. I gotta hit stop for a minute. Look right at 20 minutes. Hmm. Alright, so old Chicago, you, this is another one of your faves, I recall. Yep. There's very few EMs that have made it through the years. Uh, I'm gonna check out the, there's the other so NBA this is the fast, other break. fast break. It is a bit of a basket case. I don't know if this will work, but... Yeah, it'll work. It's mostly there, but I got a new play field that came in from Germany. Oh, yeah? Oh, sorry, Poland. Huh? Wow. New, like, old stock? Uh, used. They oh, converted oh, yeah. the game to a uh, monster bash. So oh, yeah. all the NBA parts left over. So I got, oh, wow. I got play field, I've got parts, and all kinds of stuff all came in from Poland. Wow, cool. Some more uh, play fields. This is what... Fathom? Yeah. It's actually wow. in decent shape, but nice. Not great. And <laughs> holy shit, look at this. This is what I call warehousing. <laughs> or storage. Yeah, not hoarding. It's called warehousing. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. So much stuff. Wow. You you've really uh utilized the space back here. I worked on it. <laughs> the astro level little... legs that it shouldn't be. It's taking up two spots right yeah, now. Yeah, Astro, what the hell but are you it's doing? It's so buried astro. back there that it's not coming out. Oh, this is amazing. You got a friggin' wall of pinball. Oh my god. <laughs> and then a bunch oh, of play should... fields behind you for the wall and still have to go up. Yeah, this is so cool. This is like is that a little pathway? Oh no, not quite. No, that's a. That's There's a, no path back there at no, the moment. You, you climb on top and walk <laughs> on top of them. Actually, I thought I might have been able to sneak by here, but no. No. And then uh, that's like the ball bowler that, thing. That, that's a roll down Genco from the '60s. There's huh. not many out there. I had to go get that from Ohio. Where's that wow. other game go with the balls? Ski ball. No, the pot, no. like the the one that that's has where, like the that's VFW. That's you see over oh, there. there it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. that is a cool. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's a fun toy. That I played that at uh, also. Play Hurl's place, the uh, vintage Flipper World. Did you get the playfields back there? Yeah, let's see. What are you gonna do? What do you got back here? Just more wall hangers. Nice. Just got so, five spots for them. Well, I'm gonna get a light on. Oh yeah, yeah, light, beautiful. Okay, what do we got here? This is a uh, oh Circus Voltaire, and then Whirlwind. Nice. Oh, this is a uh, Target Alpha. Another attack from Mars and Shadow, very nice. And then another old Chicago. I, I love playfields for wall hangers. Do you want to play a game? Which, which, see what you can pick out. What if you know what they are? Oh yeah, okay. Like uh, right, let's start right now, Don. I'm gonna yeah. point at one. You tell me what game it is. What's this, Mike? Uh, that is a custom paint job of a. Uh, that's a Bally uh, 1977 Bally. That's my only guess. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Supersonic? Was I... Uh, okay, what year, what year is mid -70s that? That's a mid-70s Bally. Yeah, that was close. No, that's okay. mid-80s. Mid sorry, that's a solid state. Uh, uh, 
I feel like it might be 79. Hey, yeah, you're actually probably right on that. That's a super early solid state. So I should have known that one, but definitely a custom paint job. Look at that. All right, let's play one more. Because I, I already know that I probably don't know the answer to many of these. Oh, yeah. It should, it might say. How's that play field condition? Uh, yeah. Oh. Shane Jackson, you want another supersonic for testing out your, uh, your paintbrush skills? Here you go. <laughs> This one you won't get. But that's a faces. faces. I don't expect you to know that one. This oh, this looks like a. Ah, uh, uh, that looks familiar. Got Lee VM. El Dorado. Look at the side. What do we got? Um, is it uh, super soccer? There you go. Boom. Actually, it's a regular soccer. <laughs> regular soccer. Okay. This one is easy. There's yeah. a manual on top. <laughs> oh, oh, meteorite fire. This one power. I'm pretty sure you can get. And this one you probably won't get. Combat's pretty cool. I've never seen that. Yeah, that's a fun game. It's got an electronic soundboard like the dragon in the back corner. Oh, cool. That's another EM. That's a Williams EM. Williams EM. Yeah, I don't know that one. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. I think Rob Noel had that one. Then you got your pro soccer, or pro football, I mean. Okay. Two Grand Prix. Oh, yeah. I see that. Astro. And then the Astro. Oh, what's that head way back there? We'll get to that when we get over here. <laughs> Um, here you have a, I forget what this game is called, this was a, it's not even owned by me, it's owned by Randy. Oh yeah. It's oh, ga it's a... Gamatron. Gamatron. That's oh, a Gamatron. Cool. Gamatron. I am storing it for free, because hopefully someday he'll forget about it. Yeah, Randy, <laughs> don't watch this video. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> <laughs> then back there, I don't know what's in the farthest corner. <laughs> I serious? Oh my god, I don't know what's in the farthest corner. What is? I can't tell. Um, I know there's two dragons, interflip dragons, Holy shit. and then a stars. But oh, yeah. oh my gosh, what is in the back? Uh, you'll remember. Now it's driving me mad. I'll remember at some point. You have to dig your dig a tunnel. Oh, oh he's gonna go for it. Yes. This is how he does it, boys and girls. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, uh, he's got it. At Stern Galaxy. Oh, I th oh! you sold one and you got another one. Okay. No, that's my original one. I disassembled it and moved it back here. Ah, I see. And we got a pin bot yeah. with the original topper. And then the second half of storage. All right, this is the uh, um, ski ball. Yeah, then the very farthest back, that would be the second Strange Road. Right. The playfield stripped out of it and went to Wade Cruz to make uh, new ones. Ooh, very nice. Then your Abracadabra. Ah, yes. Matahari, Strikes Matahari, and Spares. Solid State, Strikes and Spares, yep. Striker Extreme. Holy shit. Never Space Shuttle. And behind that, you got a Fireball Classic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then there's actually a really cool bowling style arcade game back there that you can't see. Huh. Unless you come. You can walk on this if you want. And look at this play field, too, though. That's pretty cool. Hold on. Let me see. Yep. Go for it. Going in, boys and girls. Yeah, I have one of those uh, bowler rolling games. You can't really see the thing now because the parts for a strange roll on top of it. Huh. So what is it exactly? It's that one that looks like a bowling lane and it has a track ball. Uh huh. And you can roll and it plays a bowling game. And it's like it looks like a piece of a arca uh, an actual bowling alley. Oh yeah. But it's a uh, it's an arcade game, and I don't really do arcade games. Right. Then you got a bowl bowler here. This would be like a 60s or 50s bowl bowler. Holy shit, man. I have the full frame plus another 8 foot extension. Wow. Eventually that wall is going to get knocked down beside uh, the uh, this wall. thing. And it will go long words across the whole basement. Wow. This thing is huge. And then... This is a repair shop which is a disaster right now. <laughs> Got a little bit of everything. It kind of, kind of reminds me of MySpace. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, For schematics and stuff. Uh, Judge Dread topper. Yep. So, yeah, you got uh, oh, cool. And I, a little I, bit of everything. You got some I aprons some everywhere. New stuff too, like here's something I have. I Wiring harnesses I hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> I don't even own this one game anymore, but... What did I see? Metallica somewhere? Yeah. You got a custom Sparky paint no, job? Just an original one. Original Sparky. 
Hey, look at that. That's pretty cool. Right on. Never, I've never really seen it out of the game. It seems so much bigger outside of the game. Yeah. Huh. But there's a good price on it, and, uh, you know, <laughs> put it in the hoard. Yep, throw it in the corner in the box. <laughs> Even my dome, man, I don't need these, but these are all NOS, and you can't get most of them anymore. Oh, oh yeah. That... So an NOS Acmag for the back. Ooh, that's really nice. And an NOS one of these, although so Mantis a... now remakes these. Oh, do they? But. But still, original is nice. I got an original. Huh. Is that the side, like, computer That's thingy? the screen that that shooting really hard. Yeah, yeah, computer. Very cool. Me just hoarding more parts. Yep. Well, you know, you, you may need something one day. There's your... There's a few extra balls there, some coils, miscellaneous parts, this boards. Like well, here's, like... Oh, well, yeah. These are the caps. Pump cart. Well, you can uh, lay your plate We got on. displays. Yeah, yeah. These are actually, I bought all these. These are NOS, not this one. It... These ones are NOS oh, Stern displays. That's cool. I've never, never been used. Never seen NOS six digit Stern displays before. Very cool. That's I got a, a bunch store. of them. They were not cheap. No. But uh, I like the original plasma, so. Yep. Yeah, I got a friggin' bin of displays too. Well, all those are working though. Those ones, that's the working bin. These are oh. untested circuit boards. Oh yeah. All kinds of boards from all kinds of I like of the games. filing cabinet system. That works well. Yeah. And these are scrap boards plus some rebuild kits. Oh, okay. What is that stern board? This is a modern stern DMD, but oh. I tried to clean it up and it was just way too far gone. Is it? Is that White Star? Yeah. Oh, okay. Very cool. You got your new circuit boards. Oh yeah. This is uh this drawer is how much does this drawer cost you? <laughs> I don't keep track of that type of stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Actually, I buy them probably all the time. Don't, probably prefer not to. I just had a guy on Facebook. He came up and he had a brand new Alltech and a brand new solenoid driver board. Yeah. I don't really need them. Oh yeah. But I got a good deal on them, so they're being shipped up. Nice. Plus, there's always people in Canada who need parts. Yeah. So I have lots of people come to me, and if I you know, can help people out, I help people out. Yep, for sure. Um, you probably get lots of parts requests. Gottlieb drawer. <laughs> what are you looking for one of these? Hey, this is the, uh, is this the five inch one? Oh shit, yeah, this is it, man. This is uh, not easy to find. These uh, are Gottlieb I, I just got one of these in the mail though, shipped today. I because actually found one. I don't work on Gottlieb, so yeah. these parts will just sit here. Oh yeah? Here's the other Maybe this one will here. sit in my pocket then. Yeah, that's the uh, system, system one. one. Yeah. System one. Oh. Well, I might have to Power I might supplies. have to buy this off you possibly. You let me know. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna gonna set it aside for now, just so I remember. Because if you don't think you'll use that, and you can repin those very easily. Yeah. They're not hard to repin. You sit on the couch and you just go to them. Yeah, I actually bought a repin kit from Dawsent Electronics. Schematic. More boards are untested. Oh yeah. Champion pub and manual. Don't over here. Oh, Let's go okay. searching through drawers. More displays. More displays. Oh, yeah. I got a shit ton of displays. <laughs> because uh, I know yeah. they don't make them anymore. Yep. Um, NVRAM. Oh, nice. And then this pile of boards here is actually a really cool pile. These ones are waiting for me to fix. Uh -huh. These have all been cleaned, acid removed, yep. retinned, and they just need to be repopulated, and these will be good to go. Uh, I only do it to these boards because these are the S MPU 200 by right. Stern. Uh -huh. They work in every single solid state game, Bally or Stern from the era. Okay. You just gotta change the jumpers per game. Right. But they're backward compatible to mm. the 100s and negative 35s and all the Bally solid state of the era. They work in all of them. So uh. the MPU 200s are the best ones to have. Uh. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them just waiting to be populated now. I remember watch, uh, seeing some photos of you doing that job a while back. A long time ago. Yeah. Got to that point. Oh, there, this there. thing I love. And this came from, not that thing. This one. Oh, it's not even in this room anymore. All right, I can't show you that. Oh, there's your pile of legs. That's only half of them, but yeah. <laughs> Lots of them. Hey, I have this exact same. Oh, no. Right. Um, stern drop targets. Uh. Nothing too special, but... These are original solid state stern assemblies. Yep. They are getting harder to find. Yep. So once again, I hoard some. And this one here has a special purpose. Oh, yeah. This one will become a Quicksilver someday. 
Oh yeah. I have all the parts here now to build a quicksilver no from scratch. Sh shit, that's crazy. And I have a quicksilver to. You have one to yep, use as a, a new reference. I have a harness from Third Coast uh, Pinball. Oh really? I have a brand new harness. I got a new playfield. I got a donor cabinet. Yeah. So instead of making mine a collector one, I'm gonna make one from scratch and then probably sell mine the way it is. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, this is some and money here. Again, Look at that. Sea Witch Playfield. More stirring classic parts are hard to come by. Yeah, the pop bumper assemblies. A lot of the pop bumper assemblies. A lot of the flipper assemblies. Um, the meteor drops. Oh, yeah. Plastic pop bumper assemblies. Yeah. With the plastic rings, the originals. Yes, you can't buy those. Well, I don't know. Maybe you can. I oh, would look, and but... even the stern uh, wide body lock bar, which uh, are hard to come by. Yep. Because I uh, hoard. Oh, work parts on that are your uh, big game or whatever. Why is that on flat scrap? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so these are all play fields back here that are gonna go in games. You want me to go through them? Sure, why not? I'm not gonna move them too much because I don't want to damage them. Yeah, yeah. We got a Sea Witch, uh -huh. Quicksilver, Whoa. Oh, nice. Adam's Family. Ooh. Uh, this is a used fast break. Oh, yeah. To go in the fast break out there. Yep. Ooh, look at that. That one I can't remember. Sorcerer, Centaur, Stargazer. That would be Bear Cora. Oh, okay, cool. Ian Harrower just did a Barracora playfield swap. He's the reason I bought the damn thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Ian! Yeah, it's all your fault, Ian. Cool, man. All right. And then you got the polishing, buffing, cleaning room. Oh, right. I forgot about that. There's more. This was actually a cold room originally. From my old work, we built refrigeration panels to build rooms. And these were all scrap offcuts that were going to get tossed in a dumpster. Huh. So I got all this scrap material from work, insulated the whole cold room with insulated freezer panels, and now it stays room temperature in here all year round. So you and lie it's soundproof because it's outside of the house. You line this whole thing yourself. Yep. That's uh, quite the job. So then you got your ultrasonic in here to clean your parts. Yep. Ultrasonic. I need one of these. Greatest thing in the world. Yeah. If I, of every tool in here. That gets used the most. And this is the kind of stuff you put in there, eh? Plastic parts. Anything. And and metal parts too. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know what the best thing to put in there? What's Slingshot that? arms. After they come oh, out, yeah. they work like brand new and they don't leave your rubbers black anymore. Right, yeah, they totally do. You got this... your tumbler down there. Oh yeah, there's the tumbler. I have one of those. And you can see the bolts will go in like this. And they will come out like this. Yeah. That's nice. And right. I know, yes, you can buy new bolts cheap. <laughs> These are for games that aren't going to win any beauty pageants, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes nice you just game, need some shitty bolts. I got tons of brand new ones. Yeah, right. And you oh, I saw, I saw that bag of brand new bolts. But yeah, I need one of these too. And then just stuff you don't want to get dirty because this puts out a lot of dust. Oh, right. So I got a slot machine here, which I may or may not fix someday. <laughs> yeah. I gave up on it. <laughs> and then your pile of oh, brand new glass. Oh, yeah. Wide body, regular. Very nice. And then spin out heads, some more godly parts, you know. Empty and then boxes. packaging boxes to ship parts all over. Yeah. I ship Canada, US, I shipped to Germany, I shipped to Australia a bunch of times. Yeah. So they go everywhere. Yeah, I save some boxes too for the very same thing. They're handy to have. This was the hardest one to make. That's actually all hand formed and then spray huh. formed inside. That looks like a such a pain in the ass, man. And then I ran the electrical in here, so it comes <laughs> off this switch, which I dropped right. in the wall. Uh, BX, so it's armored. And then actually fed it through so it drops into here yeah. and feeds off to everything. Holy. You are a jack of a thousand trades. Yep. It's got to find impressive. me a job someday. Very impressive. <laughs> oh shit, almost caught you in the... You in the I was. I went quick. I went quick. I panned right by you. Alright, I think that is the <laughs> I'll more cut you out if there is. Oh wait, there's some more stuff. <laughs> oh, we got a bunch of cabinets back here that are empty cabinets and they will be going into making custom games someday maybe, who knows. <laughs> uh, I got an alley play field here, it's way better than my alley play field. Oh, yeah. I got a future spa play field, not future spa, yes future spa play field that's getting a hard coat top. <laughs> a future spa play field that's getting a hard top installed that's going to go into the game. Right. Uh, and then I have a big game play field here also that's nicer than the one that's out there. So these play fields are not for parts and stuff, these are actually usable. Right. And then I got a next gen play field here which is also going to go into the game because mine is a little rough. Oh, cool. And this one isn't terrible. It's not perfect. Yeah, that looks nice. But it's not bad. Yeah. So that will go in eventually. 
And then behind me there are all the places I used to rip parts off of the six other games. Yeah, it's so handy to have populated play fields for more, parts. I need more Bally ones. I'm right oh yeah, Bally. really? Well, this, oh, here's the pile here. There's a Bally one there, but you see the parts are almost gone from it. Oh yeah, you've been utilizing. She has saved a lot of games, this one. Oh, the old Bobby Orr. Yep. Nice. It's just so handy. It's like going shopping for parts right on the play field. Old Williams? Oh, yeah. Soccer, I think? And, oh, your Ghostbusters! Ghostbusters! This actually comes in handy for a lot of posts and stuff. It's really cool for that Yeah, stuff. right. Isn't that a new game? It yes, was. it is. It's totally new. Stern probably um, replaced somebody's playfield with a populated playfield, uh, and they let them have the old playfield. No, they did not. They did not. This playfield was returned uh -huh. and drilled through by the vendor, so oh, okay. was, and then thrown into a dumpster. No I shit. I don't know who pulled it out of the dumpster, Oh my god! but it has gone through hands and has landed here. Wow. Cannot believe that. That got pulled from a dumpster. Holy shit. Dumpster Ghostbusters. Hey, that's cool. What is that game? Is that... Uh, Stern Lightning! Oh, Lightning, okay. And then here is another. Stern Lightning! Oh, wow. Is someone lightning does strike no. twice! Three minutes here, right? Eh? <laughs> yeah, we've been... Are you getting bored yet, honey? We've yeah. been recording 40 minute tour here, but this is awesome. Once again, this is normally cleaned up, but right now it's a disaster. You got your displays. You got some tools that you absolutely can't live without, but they are not in their boxes, so I can't show you them. Lots of rubber spare, uh, rubber rings, gonna need those in stock. Clipper rebuild kits for all uh, different eras, always nice. have them on hand, and the stroke switches uh, are nice. always needed. People don't replace this stuff enough. Yeah, that's pretty right, important, especially the uh, in the high voltage yeah, ones. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, this is just plastic pieces that would go through a cleaner that I don't need. Uh, so yeah. these are all used, oh, cool. but they've been through the ultrasonic. Ah, pre-clean. So if I need something, I can come in here and just rummage around wow, and find what I need. That's how they come out, yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, like new. I need one. That's like new. What is it? Ultrasonic cleaner. And then, for all my solid state games, my capacitor kits. Oh, your, your Williams yeah. Power Supply, Squawk and Talks, sound boards. Oh, cool. You know, because they're old. Yep, they're 40 years old in most cases. 40 plus, yep. Yep. And then even stuff like riveting stuff properly. Buy yourself your proper rivets. Yeah. Buy yourself a nice little riveter. So if you want to get so yourself into pinball repair, if you want to take up pinball repair, just watch this video and buy every single thing that Mitch has shown you so far. Even stuff like this <laughs> is stuff I wouldn't have had a year ago, but I've had to start sourcing more stuff. These are all round pin connectors. Uh, so anything yeah. with a round pin is in here. Because a right. lot of the 80s solid state games have them on transformer boards and stuff. Yep. You need that. You need so. that. I, I know I'm going to... When I do need and I don't have, I'm coming to you. Because I know I don't have all those in stock. <laughs> hey, what is this? Is this a uh, future... No, it's Matahari. That's the one that's out there. Oh, are these the housings you're looking for? No, um, the it's like on that connector there. The one that Mitch was showing me earlier. Oh, it's double-sided. Oh, this isn't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pins on both sides of the connector. Needs a second ground wire put on, though, yeah, eh? I'll ah, put that on upgrade. there. I'll be putting that on there. But that's what, and then this Dungeon of Dragons is the last game I've had where I've promised it to a customer. Yep. I have not taken a deposit. He has been bothering me to take a deposit. Yep. I won't do it. <laughs> yeah. But don't worry, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I've seen that post, Tony. Don't you worry. Mitch will get you all hooked up. Other right. than that, I think we're uh, rounding out the day, you know? <laughs> All right, well. You got your, uh... Yeah, there you supplies go. Supplies when you need them. Always doing new stuff. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> Jamie's ducking out of the way. And then yep. you can see more legs on the floor here, too. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I just, I just broke them. But yeah, and, uh, some tokens. Yeah, well. the ski ball still runs the on. ski ball. It's fine. <laughs> All right, cool, man. Well, thanks for the tour. It was awesome. It was Not a problem, man. I'd, I'd, I uh, pretty much went through every nook and cranny. Don't have many people come over here anymore. So. Back at the beginning. Yeah, well, <laughs> COVID uh, is real, right? It's done, uh, done uh, a number on you haven't, uh You haven't exactly been hosting league nights. Or neither have I, so. <laughs> no, I don't think these really get played too much. I, I do a lot more repair than playing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm doing a little bit of that myself these days. All right, cool, man. Um, 
been a pleasure. <laughs> okay, just when I thought the tour was over, I see a pinball head here, and then I look to the right, and uh, there's more. What else you got in here? Holy shit, there's play fields. So, these are where I take off most games I get. Uh -huh. You see the problems with these? Oh yeah, no ground, old as shit. Yeah, so those all get cut off, new ones put on. Um, some more play fields, because you can never have too many attack from Mark's play fields. <laughs> How many I do have you have? four now. Holy shit. All wall hangers. That's awesome. This is one of mine. Yeah, yeah. Is that me? I got a new phone, I don't even know what it sounds like anymore. I say, that's not me. Uh, yeah, I didn't set that noise. <laughs> uh, this is one I just picked up, this is actually going into the collection. Yeah. I missed it. I paid it way more for it now than when I sold mine uh, four I years bet. ago, but that's the way it goes. It is. Uh, spin a card is going out. It's getting picked up hopefully today. Oh, uh, yeah. This is coming back into my collection. This was fixed up for a customer, and then he decided to get something different. Nice. And I decided I want it. So that's Great game. I miss mine. Nick Greenan has mine. Shout yes, out. He does. <laughs> um, this here oh, is fun not house. mine. Okay, this fixing. This is a customer's game. I picked it up. I got to do a rebuild on it. I wish it was mine. I tried to buy it. Oh, uh, yeah. It's just going to get a full refurb, stripped down, rebuild, all the things on the play field. Uh, Rudy's head's not working properly. It's going to get heavy yeah. RAM. It's got a flipper that's burnt out. So, full go through, LEDs, cleaned up everything, and he'll be a happy customer. I bought your old funhouse. Uh, I wish I had sold that, but <laughs> I wish I had sold. Yeah. So now we got another slug fest here. Yeah, I might trade you my old funhouse for your Congo. You wish. Um, <laughs> this is also going to a customer. I just picked it up, but I have to go through it and get it all working properly. Yep, another slug fist. And that will be going to a customer also. So yeah, the tour wasn't quite over yet. There's still more. So you have 56 in your own personal collection right now. 56. It doesn't include uh, the funhouse or the slug fest. Right. Because they're not mine, and it doesn't include the spare card because it has a deposit on it. Great game. White water. What I find really crazy about playfields is check this out. Everyone says when they get reproduction stuff, it's not the same as my original. Okay, I get that. That's an original. This is original. Okay. Right. Yeah. That's also an original. Oh, it's like faded. Okay. It's either it's like, faded. It's like this is a little bit. More I orange. Think, actually, I think this one is faded because you can see where the flipper was sitting on top of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, And yeah, if you yeah. look up here, you see how yellow these are? Uh-huh. And you see how orange those are? Oh, uh, yeah. So this is actually, I was incorrect. This is actually severely faded, this play field. Right. Even if you look at the greens on the saucers. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. There's a big difference. So, originals can fade. Very, very easily. Huh. If they're in the sun, I guess, that'll do it. And I said earlier about a buddy I sold that Congo playfield to. Uh, this is his old Kong. one. It looks good. Take yep. it up close. And you realize that this whole piece here is actually a decal that's been oh my put God. on with mylar on top because there's major flipper wear. Wow. Yes, that, you can feel the ridge and it just the print quality doesn't look uh, all that great. And then it got a couple chips in the decal and it just, <laughs> he had to put a new playfield in and uh, I sold him. My really nice one. Because oh. my original is good enough. That's a nice wall hanger now. Yeah. And that is the tour. That is the tour. Okay, we're making a little pit stop. Hello. Hi. We're going. Where are we going, honey? Across the street. Across the street. <laughs> I, I kind of was thinking more destination. Oh. <laughs> To the broom maker. Broom maker. Mm -hmm. And does this guy make the best brooms in the world or what? Yeah, in Canada. Best brooms in Canada, apparently. Handmade. Yeah. Is this the only place in the world they do handmade? In Canada. In Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. It's Corn brooms. Apparently, this is building that's been around a long time. Look at that. Hamel Brooms. That is an old ass sign, eh? Oh, since 1908. Pretty cool. And there's also some Algonquin vibes. Yeah. Whatever that is. All right. Under renovation, just be careful. Hey. Look at it. Oh, a little gopher. Or a beaver. beaver. I'm Canadian, can you tell? 
I should know the difference between a gopher and a beaver, you would think. Um, welcome mat. I already got a welcome mat. It says, come back with a six pack. What does it say? <laughs> got Timmy's? Yes. If not, please turn back. <laughs> we sleep around. Very cute, very cute. Hey, look, uh, like a... How are you doing? We need that for your mom. How are you doing? Gotta get that for your mom, that's Wendy. Is that? Okay, we'll get her that for like, uh, whatever, Easter. How about that? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Can you... Oh my god, I'm knocking down everything. Okay, I'm gonna pass this to you because I got other. I gotta carry. What? Right. We don't need that. I know we don't need it. We want it though. Where would you put that? Look at that in the backyard. You, we've, been, we've, been, we've been in like one square foot in the store. We've already bought one thing and wanted seven things. <laughs> There's still a whole rest of store to go through. Lots of cool stuff though. <laughs> yeah, that one's pretty good. <laughs> it's not easy to try and record stuff without getting the wife on film. How's it going? That's quite the uh, cool device you got back there. Yeah, that looks like an old piece of machinery. It's a sewing machine, yeah. A sewing machine, eh? Glorified sewing machine? Goes up the brooms, yeah. <laughs> How old is that thing? Not really sure, but it's not working well, so... <laughs> not working well? No. Yeah, it looks like it could require some maintenance from time to time, eh? Yeah. But that is what makes these... All purpose. And that is why we are here, for the brooms. Yeah, we're here for the brooms. There it is. And this guy's been here since 1908 himself. <laughs> yeah, I guess that I guess that could have been taken the wrong way. Oops. <laughs> you look a little younger than 1908. <laughs> Cigar boxes. What do we got over here? Oh, pull, drawer pulls. That's pretty cute. Cool. You want to open up your door, your drawer? antlers okay, do they anyway we're gonna grab a broom that's why we're here two, two. we're gonna grab two brooms twenty dollars including tax all-purpose corn brooms and that's why we're here well we just found our way into the back there's more stained glass oh, stuff geez. oh that's pretty cool I love that one. look at this that's so just you know, little owls, all kinds of miscellaneous stuff, um, candy, pink candy corn, fizz, maple syrup, chug some of that there, Albert, shout out. Oh, cool lights, yeah. Neato. What are these big umbrellas? I don't even know. Oh yeah, they're just hanging upside down. Thought it was some like lawn decoration or something. Socks. Dog socks. Soccer socks. Sock socks. No, those are beer pong. Did, they must have socks with socks imprinted on the socks somewhere, I'm sure. Oh, fast food socks. Burger and fries, avocado socks. I like this. A Christmas tree. Yeah. This is the Christmas section. I wet my plants. <laughs> Me so thorny. Three dollars each for some old tools. Hey Mitch, can you use these? 
throw those in your uh, tumbler and then buff it out. You good as new. Boom. Okay, we are in a little town. What's it called again? St. Jacob's. And in little towns, you see cool stuff like this. Walking down the street. Mm, horse and buggy action. Pretty cool, eh? Apparently our uh, adventure is not quite ended yet. <gasps> Home style pies! Home style pies mm. at the Stomp Croc Bakery. All right, we're going in. Explore the little bakery. Looks like it's been popular. There's empty plates. Looks like the raspberry is pretty uh, popular. And the butter tart. Butter pecan. There's only a couple of those bad boys left. Got some more goods here. What else we got? Pies. Oh, she's got something. What do you got here? Oh, snap. And my mom. Butter. Oh, Easter. Oh, boy. Uh, you pick. We'll get. You pick. What? Okay, what will. What will my mother like the most? <laughs> oh, okay, we'll take a that Nanaimo bar then. That's that guy right there. What, what, maybe we'll get her one of these too. All right, and a chewy almond. Yeah. Yep, thanks. Same bag is good. Those uh, look popular. Oh, yeah. Gone. Looks like almost gone. It looks like rhubarb. Eh? I think it's yeah. rhubarb. Long Jones. Looks like you gotta get here early. <laughs> yeah, right. Gotta get here early to get the good stuff, but... This is definitely strayed afar from pinball action, but... Oh well. well it's fun, uh... Checking out these random places in small towns. Do they have Diet Coke here too? Yeah, but... Cans, they don't have cans. Gotta be in the can.